In today's video, we have in our hands the Sapphire Pulse RX 5700 XT, and we are going to compare it to the Power Color RX 5700 XT, which we had for a while now and it appears to be the cheapest 5700 XT at the moment. I will leave all the links in the video description below, so make sure to check that out. We're going to compare the two head-to-head -head in specs, size, temperatures, noise levels, and of course, performance. Now without further ado, let's get into it. So let's see the specs on paper first. As we see, the only difference here is their base and boost clock, but the power color is also $40 cheaper than the Sapphire Pulse. Let's get a closer look though. They both have one HDMI and three display ports. Both have back plate and dual fans. The Pulse is bigger in size, with slightly bigger fans and an illuminating logo which adds up to the aesthetics of the card. Before moving on to the benchmarks, I tested the GPUs at 100% fan speed to check the noise and heat levels. The power color had a maximum temperature of 64 degrees, while the pulse maxed at 60 degrees Celsius. Noise levels were exactly the same at 65 decibel. The Sapphire Pulse ran a bit cooler, and we will see in a few seconds how they will perform, leaving the fan curves at auto. For our first test, we see them running Shadow of the Tomb Raider on highest preset at 1440p. The performance difference is really small, making the Sapphire Pulse only about 3 frames faster, and that's because it has higher clocks. We also see that it runs about 4 to 5 degrees cooler while being a bit quieter. Now for our gaming benchmarks. We won't be going through a ton of games, as they will all have more or less the same results. So we will run one more game. Borderlands 3 on Ultra and 1440p resolution. We get similar results. Now the gap is a bit smaller, leaving the power color just a couple of frames behind, and again the Sapphire Pulse ran cooler and quieter. All in all, I can say that both cards are very good, and the difference in gaming performance can be ignored. The difference in temperatures and noise levels can't be ignored though. The Sapphire Pulse wins the extra point because it can boost higher and also run cooler than the power color, leaving maybe some room for overclocking too. Now, are those $40 more worth it or not? It's up to you to decide. Maybe investing these in a better case for better airflow will make a bigger impact to your overall system performance. So that's it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.